Wrexham this, Wrexham that. Are we forgetting there was already a Welsh team in League 2? Newport County don't have big budgets, but have survived against the odds all the time, almost getting promoted under Michael Flynn. Today we're going to be taking over Newport County in the fourth tier of English football and we're gonna give them the rebuild they need. On Clubworth they are the smallest team in Wales. There's my thumbnail and title. Got two million to spend which to be fair is the same that we had at Stevenage in the division above with a worse team granted but a team we can turn around. A lot of reserves in this team, and that's the best team we can actually build. I think a couple of players have left, like Nicky Dimitriou, Farquhar but we've got to rebuild, and we've got to do this properly with Omar Bogle up front, an ex-Grimsby Town legend. Academy-wise, we've got another Dimitriou on the way anyway. And this season, with the low budget, it is all about getting players on for the future. I'm looking forward to McNeil this season, so we've gone with a 17-year-old low-rated striker in Hubert Suzik from Corona Kietle, if that is the correct pronunciation, as the next one joining him is quite local, Darko Giabi from Leeds. Them two players will be on the bench for probably the remainder of season one. Actually, no. Wildig can come out the team, Giabi can go in, Sulzlik can unfortunately stay on that bench as we head to our first game of the year. So our first game is Hartlepool United, the relegated team in real life, the Poolies, we've got to try and beat them. Oh, and youngster Joe Gray does score to sink us. Oh well. A lesson learned. After that defeat as well, we do have a little bit of money actually. A million left because of selling a youngster. So welcome our new number one. He's from the league above, Ashley Maynard Brewer of Charlton. That was a voice break. Can he keep some clean sheets for the exiles? And no losing players halfway through this season. A lot actually not playing, which surprises me like for Atkinson and Charles Lee. But then we've got Mariah Welsh on the bench. Big fan of this team. Defence is getting better. Look at Maynard Brewer. Mwah. Third in the league as well. Big achievement that. We've got a game in hand on them all. But Markham is up next. Have we got money to spend? Not really. So let's just keep his fingers crossed for a promotion. Oh no. But we've fallen out of the actual automatic places still. It's a top of the playoff place finish. I say that, but Donny could jump above us with a result. What a shame. And I tell you what, we had a top scorer in this league as well. Omar Bogle. Otis Khan on that list as well. And Gordon and Nichols. Crawley Town in the semi-finals. Come on. We're away from home first. I've got some decent players in this Grimo, but we get the job done, Bogle. Can we win in Wales, though? Yes, we do. We win both of them. 5-3 by Crawley. Don Telford having no luck, but Doncaster at Wembley's a really hard game. Does this club have enough? Does this club have enough? Even if we go up, can we survive? But we're not going up anyway. Doncaster Rovers win in the playoff final and we will remain in the fourth tier so three million now in this season okay it's more and we do have the better team however i want to keep mcneil here if we can i don't know if we'll be able to because the others have gone back and if we don't we'll need another striker and a midfielder oh hang on is he actually a permanent player because he's already signed up his charlie mcneil so players Needed. This season, we're going to go to our Welsh rivals, Eli King from Cardiff. That's the midfielder, of course. And stealing from Michael Flynn's old new team. Every now and Ovendale, Ovendale goes out on loan. But we bring in Jack Earing from Walsall. This team is really going to cook, I think. It's got to be promotion this season straight away. And this season, and it's still much more like it. We're five points clear, but we are... Third, so we could slip to that fourth, and I really don't want to. How as well is Bogle outscoring McNeil at 70 rated? We've almost got another 70 in this team with Maynard Brewer. It is really too good to be in League 2. And I hate it. I hate it because we've slipped again. We finish in the championship playoffs. No Doncaster this time, but I'm worried about Cheltenham, who have just come down. We do have top scorers as well in Omar Bogle, Earing and McNeil, so we know we can score goals. So on to Tranmere. First up in these playoffs with an unfit Giabi. I don't know why, 
but we still do manage to win. The second leg, we win that as well, and Giab even scores in it. And it will be Accrington Stanley that we do face in this final, so I am very worried. We're at Wembley again, but we get the job done this time. Both of them strikers scoring our goals, and Newport finally will be a division above. So finish mid-table in League One is what we're getting screamed in our face and signing a midfielder. Can we really do that though? Because we've got three million and when I show you the team that we have, it is definitely defence that needs strengthening where Demetrio is. And this season, many players are on their way out, but one in particular is on his way in. The crucial midfielder, Mateusz Legowalski. He's joined over from the Polish leagues like we did Suzlik, but he has actually left on loan. So this absolute beast has to be in the midfield on his own, learn the language, go on an intensive course, and become the best. As in fact, I'm gonna make him the new captain because I want him to be the leader on the field and a big legend. So he's in, but we're still not replacing Dimitriou. Maybe I can try earring in the defense. Fence? We've had to do that quick because our first game of the season has snuck up on us and it is Walsall who were down there with us not two seasons ago. So we do get the win and our new captain scoring the winner. So let's see if we can... Oh, I don't know if we can actually trust him in the defence after a quite terrible month in the league. We are fine, however. 14th in League One, so that is brilliant from us so far. 21 points Lincoln are on. We're 10 points ahead, and we just need to keep on going, despite there being 10 points off the playoffs. Can't wait to get some of these loan lads back as well from their loans, including Apollo Dimitriou, who went to Bristol City and is playing well. Instead of actually making a signing, I'm going to recall him immediately to get him for this game. Yes, three grand to recall him right now. I'd just do it. After all, I don't expect I'm signing a player so I can put that 1 million budget into our scouting network. And at the end, we do finish 15th, which is one place below, but I will take a mid-table finish. To finish so close to Derby County is actually an achievement. We finish above teams like Wigan, and we've got to look at them relegated teams to see if we can steal some players from them. Still not checking the cups because we're nowhere near, not even in the Papa John's. We absolutely had a stinker. But this team going forward hopefully isn't a stinky one. McNeil, is it time for him to to move on and us to reinvest some money into this squad. And of course, when I say financing in this club, I mean selling players because two million is absolutely shameful. Honestly, how are we expected to gain automatic promotion? We have absolutely no choice but to transfer list McNeil and see what money we can get for the youngster. So goodbye to our youngster. I'm gonna miss you so much, Charlie McNeil, but he's got his move to Bournemouth. And we can't forget, of course, that does inject our club with a huge cash influx which is gonna work wonders for a promotion charge so getting going with some realistic signings the first one is from in this league another ex premier league academy graduate reagan paul will come the welshman to newport county and he will be joined by another welshman in matt baker a youth prospect from stoke and now in the office room as well we're done with the two welshmen that have come in now it's about a striker who can score goals. And I truly believe it's this man, Victor Campuzano. We've signed him so many times before in saves because he's so good from Sporting Gijon. A new striker, a new era for the first game against Peterborough. Can Posh get a posh result for themselves? They can't because we stopped them. And I actually believe that our business is done after this next signing, which is a re-signing of Nathan Mariah. Welsh. I don't know why I said Nathan. Don't get on at me. Please, just let it slide. And this is why you don't overspend. This is why you don't overdo it, because Newport County look instead to be a championship club. Seven points clear of Birmingham. Tom Brady, keep up with us. Actually, there's no chance that they do because our team's ratings. Oh, Campunzano. What a man. Captain Legowski doing well still. And then we've got Bogle. Earring and Mariah Welsh all fitting in rather perfectly. But just one player to take to us, hopefully to the championship. We're going to sign a Reading striker that's going to give me problems saying the name. Kelvin 
just Kelvin. And I'll tell you what, I don't care that Stoke haven't played all the games. We will be winning the league. 10 defeats still is a lot. And we signed Kelvin from second place Reading. So it's a good job we did weaken our rivals. What a season. As I'm looking down then, I'm seeing Sheffield Wednesday. I'm seeing Derby County. I'm seeing a lot of clubs that we could steal players from. Even Fleetwood. They must have a good team to beat Stoke in the Papa John's. Stoke? Even at this level. We've got 90 million ahead of this team as well, which is still doing okay. It looks like Bogle's time is over. So welcome to the first team, Kelvin. And of course, we probably do need a left wing back going into a championship season. Despite winning the league, a formation change to fit in a new Dimitriou. The Greek will play as an attacking midfielder in the championship, which we're going to right now. Very happy, lot of money big smile on my face sure it'll be a bad end to the season but it's about time it came good luck to the big man and who has stole my money that's six million you be lucky i don't burn this club to the ground now i'm not gonna do that though i'm just gonna get on with my job and sign some world beaters like ivan morante who's going to be brilliant a 23 year old holding midfielder but another player this left back is finally replaced with a record fee paid for Pepe Gonzalez of Vancouver Whitecaps. Now, we've changed our formation back to the three in midfield with Morante being the sitting man. And that is honestly what I'm going to use for the first season in the championship. We've got a youth a prospect on the bench. We've still got some day winners and I don't want to buy too many strikers because I still want Bogle to play his part out of the respect I have for the man. And I think the last time Newport County played a Ryan Lowe side was Bury, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see how we can do against his Preston. Please, Campuzano, score some goals as it's Legowski, our captain, and Ben Whiteman, which leaves us in a stalemate for game number one. And now we have actually living physical proof that we do need to improve our team because we are only five points away from relegation. I've got to put my Bogle love away and I've got to just try and keep us up. We are in trouble. We've got a lot of unhappy faces, including Legowski, our captain, and some with transfer requests like Apollo Dimitriou and Kelvin already. And we can't have an unhappy player as captain. So I'm thinking about Victor Campuzano, experienced, older, and leading it with goals. He has scored 13 and is the reason we're kind of up. Then again, Legowski's got eight. So out goes Kelvin and in comes Aaron Presley, but not now. A free signing. He's here next year. He's here next year as well with Juan De from Malaga. The one for this season is going to be this man right here from division rivals. Not the game mode on Ultimate Team, but rivals in our division, Tyler Burry. He's cost 500k more than what we sold Kelvin for, but step straight in and he's better rated. These two up front in Campuzano and Buddy need to step us from relegation fighting. And that, lads, is us clearing the relegation spot. So we did finish 18th. We were very clear, nine points. But one thing I do want to mention now that we're actually up a division is stop looking at the Papa Johns and looking at our quarterfinal finish in the FA Cup. Wolves were the team to doom us, but we're still doing okay in competitions, not really in the Carabao, but our team, when I skip to the page and have a look, so much improvement. We've got good goalkeeper, fullbacks, strikers, midfielders, and we've got players coming in with six million left over, plus an extra budget, plus some defenders, fingers crossed, we should be a Premier League challenging team. So we have the arrival of Juan De and the arrival of Aaron Presley. Not Elvis Presley, who used to be on the wall behind us, but this is the team. No real improvements off-season. No one's been putting in the hard graft, but we do need defenders. The priority, setting stone. Eight million. Do we just go for like one big one or maybe two for around four million you idiot max why do you need two defenders when you've just got juan de and our search for players hopeless really millwall first up just focus on the league we're gonna have to trust them defenders we have in the squad currently and norman at right wing back as we do beat burry's old team with him scoring against the millwall at the den and here is our new center back finally arriving at the club luke wolfenden Ipswich Town defender who surely has it 
to get promotion on his CV. Eighth is okay as well, halfway through. Eighth is perfectly fine. Bristol City, we're one point away from. Oh, the rest of the teams up that side of the table look absolutely amazing. Surprised Luton aren't up there, but what can you do? No surprise to me that the team is performing very well. It's just the rating of King that surprised me. Only messing, only messing. Gonzalez as well. I'm just looking at too many players now and just admiring when really we should be focusing on upping our league position. Come on, lads, step it up. And I tell you what, we gave it a good go. We gave it a good go, but it wasn't enough. No progression into the playoffs. Four points off Bristol City in the end, so it won't be that promotion that we did desire. No FA Cup cup run as well we were we were we were well out of it in round four our players not doing as well as i thought we would do we definitely need to try and keep hold of gonzalez get a right wing back in and again another center back the strikers definitely not our problem Campuzano and burry are the dream duo up front eight million is more than enough we need to actually get the team that we have scoring firing Winning games, fingers tightly crossed, winning titles. And last season it was Zach Wolfenden. This year, another centre back. Operation promotion is definitely underway this year with Zach Medley, an ex Arsenal Academy player, adds another Zek. Oh no, this one's Zek, he was Zach before. Another Z to the defence. Two Zs next to each other in the defence means we're going to be making the striker Z when we put them to sleep. And not in a bad injury way, just in like a way of keeping them quiet. We still do have money, but I'd rather not spend it. I'd rather keep it for the Premier League because our squad's good enough, even though we're not beating Ipswich Town. When I spoke about titles, not this season, but the season before. And we are outside of the playoffs again. I have no idea how we get into them. Literally no idea. Look at that team. Look at that team and tell me how I improve it. What do I do? I'm going to give... I'm going to start off by giving the armband to Wolfenden. I want a defender with that around his arm. And hopefully that makes a difference. A different present on the field. <laughs> and Swansea. We've got a Welsh derby in the playoffs. Which, to be fair, I'm sad that we're in. I want it to be automatic. But the first half of the season ruined it. The second half... Went pretty all right. We've actually got nothing going for us in the Cups, but the team's going for us. The team is really going for us. I can't wait. What's going to happen here? They're surely having a good season themselves, but Campuzano's going to try and spoil it. They're not too far travel as well. For them to Rodney Parade, the rugby ground, and we do it. Campuzano with a hat-trick over both legs. Yes, Please. Oh, no, thank you, actually. I don't want to play Watford. The most common team to get in the final of the championship playoffs in FIFA 23, but we managed to beat them once more. The Hornets going down to the Exiles, who are no longer exiled from the Premier League back, or for the first time, to the big league. Premier League Newport County, and after contracts, we have... Actually, still got a little bit of money. 25 millions, decent. I'll take that. Now, most of these players in the first team have just signed a contract. We need a right back, and I'd probably lean towards goalkeeper. May now, Brewers been here a while, but quality in the Premier League is just so different. And I tell you, signing players is very difficult, but we have managed to get the goalkeeper through the door. Welcome to the club, Pape Ibrahim. Still got a little way to go as a player who does have at Tottenham in real life, Ashley Phillips. We've signed him here for Inter, so that is a goalkeeper and an actual centre-back. Kind of needed to be a right back, really. And here he is, our right back, arriving Gabriel Janssen from FC Sirain, who usually are in the Champions League. Saying that the rating isn't too great and he's going to have to train to be a right back, but that is the team for our Premier League campaign. We have spent up. It's going to be one hard season, definitely, with that squad. And Manchester United here. Oh, it's going to be a long one. Will we keep our job if we do get relegated? Because honestly, I am really smelling 
a 20th place finish. Hey, and there's actually a team worse than us in this division. And teams that are actually as worse as us. Chelsea are only seven points off us. Leicester, Middlesbrough, Leeds have class all in this relegation fight with us and Everton. West Ham we've beaten twice this year. With this squad as well, it definitely needs improving. And as I worry about how we'll do in the league, it doesn't help that I see Victor Camponzano is on his way down with ratings. Age has caught up to him. And Leeds. Leeds are falling apart again. That's right, we survive on literally what? A point? A point. West Ham actually climbed off bottom of the league, but not close enough to survival, not close enough to us, as we can steal players from them three clubs. They're going down. Glorious. We're gonna check the cup competitions because Forest Green Rovers have won the FA Cup. Absolutely extraordinary bet City and Chelsea and Leighton Orient right there and we were beaten by Brentford. Maybe that was a problem this season as well. Maynard Brewer did pick up an injury. Medley's very unhappy. We definitely need another couple of defenders next season and a striker to replace Camposano. 26 million at the start of this next season in the Premier League as I want to check the injury to our goalkeeper. Maynard Brewer's still five weeks away. Will this be the chance for Ibrahim? Ibrahim, who's submitted a transfer request. And this season's going to be more difficult because we've lost Campuzano straight away. And it gets even worse. With Legowski going to Atletico Madrid. We need to sign players. So Alexandra Hodgson is a 75 rated right back. And another striker through the door. Verstraite is a Belgian beast. Free agent Christopher Anderson adds to the ranks on the bench. And Patrick Nuama from Italy. He is the real deal. Just such a good team now that we've rebuilt every position. Yes, he's weaker than Legowski, but he is about seven years younger. And we still have money left, so a central defender has to come in. And um, every time I say I'm going to replace a position in particular, another player steps up. So a CDM in Paul Graf from Al Nasir. To be fair, he could work as a centre-back. And he is going to, whilst we don't have another. Maynard Brewer back from injury for now. Let's go up and stay comfortably in the Prem. And look at this season. We've sold us two best players, or once best players. And we are 11th in the league, by far clear of relegation. A big thumbs up from the board. Could we go into Europe, though? That is the question. Five points only, County. It's probably down to the improvement in ratings all around the squad and the strength on the bench. As always, we don't have enough money left till January from what we've spent in the summer. But I'm just thinking, is there anything we could change? Definitely not strikers, though, as Axel Vestrati has ten already. Ugh. Oh, draws. What is up with draws? Because that's actually drawn us towards the relegation places. Still survive comfortably as well. As I think we're out in round five of the cup. I'm correct to West Ham United. Carabao I'm not looking at because I know we didn't do great in it. And team wise, I say it too much, but a centre half, a midfield or maybe a right wing back. I don't know. It is so good. Difficult, so difficult when you don't get the big budgets in this league to just, just improve your teams. Like, look at that. How do we get any better midfielders in with 35 million? So signing wise, we're going for another free agent in Rafa Gil to start us off. He's a new Bruno Fernandes type of player. And he will be joined by PSG reject Noam Schneider. Because we're signing him from them. He's an exile of PSG joining the exiles. And before our goalkeeper comes in. Yep, goalkeeper, that's our final one. We have Man United to start the season off with. As a draw with the Devils is not bad. And the third of three regen players. The 19-year-old Yannick Bauman. If he can be half the player Bauman was and more. I'd love it. Them three lads being straight in the team. Hopefully as us up there. And yep, 10th in the league. Glorious so far. We've just got to make sure it's not the drop-off that happened last year. And it's the push up the table. Come on, we've got players good enough. I'm thinking about selling Tyler Burry. Just because we've got Anderson unhappy on the bench. Who's going to grow ahead of him. And the rest of the squad is alright. And how are we expected this? How are we expected to do better the board have got a critical view on us, but we're seventh. 
Seven, we are playing European football. Newport County, the Welsh club, have joined the top six slash seven now. But we're just not going to get the praise for it. Honestly, we've got some unhappy faces here, but we've hit our targets. And Verstreet, who we're probably going to lose, has hit 21 goals. Are you having me on board? How are you not happy? And it looks as if something's gone our way because it's the Europa League. Not conference. The cups we didn't check as they want us in a Champions League spot. Okay. We have done some business off screen as well, which hasn't gone through yet. We did it in the off season, and I think you may like it. Or maybe not. As 94 smackaroonies for Europa League. What is going on? Anyway, here is our business. Adley is in the team, and you might be thinking, how's he come here? He was a straight swap for Boovy, as we had to complete an objective. He's not bad, of course. He's a left footer, and we've got... Two left footers, but Vestrati can go over there. Position-wise, Hill hasn't improved and definitely need a new right wing back. So here is Rafa Hill's replacement straight away, and he's come from Hoffenheim. Bernardo Lopez, another Portuguese attacking midfielder. 50 million on this man. Yes, please. And our second of only two signings in this window is the man from France, Nordi Mukiele. He's our right wing back. That's right, I am sticking with the formation. And these players should win a Europa League. But first, we've got the actual league, where Newport face Liverpool. And what about this, lads? Sorry, Anfield. And we're only expected to be in the group stages this year. With Vejacano, Porte and Athens, it is not the easiest of group. But County, how we've rebuilt them, should be getting through. What? 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 13th. In the Premier League, it is the draws that have actually done us in. We should be pushing for Champions League. Never mind being 15 points off. Vustrete can't do it himself. Adley, more. Double digits, please. Mariah Welsh, step it up. This team, honestly, is not doing as well as it should be doing. A lot of this does depend on the Europa League, though, and we did finish top of our group. That could save our job. And 34 games in, we are still stuck in 12. However, we do have Wolfsburg in the semi-finals of the Europa League right here, which we draw the first leg. And ladies and gentlemen, Adley has sent us to the final. Champions League football all rides on one result. Oh, and we smash them. Even Morante, who may be leaving the club, getting a goal off the bench. Newport County, a Champions League. The Champions League should come with a lot of money. What? Surely not. Surely we need more help to rebuild this team because again, we're on the search for a right back. They expect us to reach the final as well as finishing the Europa League in the league. And in order to boost our budgets, you know what's happened. Verstrate has left us to go to Liverpool. Hopefully the Belgium ends up like another Benteke. So we're going to have to replace the man as we've brought in Ike Bravo from Mallorca and Luton Town right back. Isa Cabore. A much better team now, and I'm pretty sure we'll still have a hefty bit of pocket money left. Oh yes, 138 million. I can't wait to spend that. It's obvious that we need to do it. So welcome to the club. Yet again, another striker in Mateus Cunha. And as Bauman leaves, we go and get another keeper in Oliver Fuchs. You know, I like to stare at teams here. What a team it is. Adley's also going to have to prove himself now on the bench. The only question remaining now is, is our team going to be competitive in the Champions League? We're going to find out in a minute if we have done, as sixth in the Premier League is back up to where we belong. Could be higher, as our strikers I'm a little bit worried about. Cunha's rating's gone down. Oh dear. Oh dear, and we haven't made it through in the Champions League. We finished third. Europa League football, Monaco as well. Not what I wanted. We're going to make sure we win the Europa League. So let's spend these 68 million. Why not? So welcome to the club. One player, one player only, Lucas Torres. It's still only third in this division, but hey. We can jump to a Champions League spot. Not only that, but we could win the Europa League. We're in the semi-finals and we've got Leipzig. Chance to still try and win a trophy here as the first leg is only a draw. And into the next one, away from home in Germany. So it won't be as easy as we probably think, but we will reach the final. We love this competition as we've got the final against Dortmund at Espanyol Stadium. I know the RCDE now, would we do win the competition? Champions League guaranteed for Mateus 
Cunha. He's loved this season as Mateus Cunha, scoring 39 goals in the process. Fresh from winning the Europa League, this team has to give it a go in the Prem, the Champs League, and of course win them both. For the Champions League campaign as well, 144 million. The only issue is, with the board being very critical of us and having the salary growth objective, it really does stop us from spending any money in this first window. So let's imagine it as an embargo. Will this team do well? I mean, Cunha did score 39 goals. It'd be a crime to replace him. And the ratings of the team that just whizzed the Europa League are actually good. I mean, I do fancy his chances when Olympic Lyonnais winning the Champions League. We know that as we play them in the Super Cup, they've got Hoyland up front and we beat them. Still, I don't want the Champions League to be all our focus. I'd love to win the league as well as we beat Leeds United. As this is a glorious start to the season, top of the tree, but will we actually come out on top? Not in the conference, don't know why I've clicked that one. I'm not giving ourselves any glory, as Milan, Sevilla and Sporting, if we were to have glory here, we've really got to scrap for it. And this is exactly what we wanted halfway through, top of the Premier League. We really want to win it, Leeds United doing very well in that, as the Champions League BVB who we know we can beat from the Europa League final. We actually only came second in that group, though. Milan won it, and Milan have drawn Wolfsburg, so might have done us a favour coming first, actually. And I'm hoping as many transfer embargoes over, because we've got 150 million to spend. And sorry, Mateus Cunha, but your time may have come, because we've signed Javier Soria. That's all we may need, because the team honestly doesn't need any more improvements. Numara is one of the weakest, or Kabor actually, but he's only as right wing back. Got 89 pace, and then Mariah Welsh is our captain who's been here from day one. So with Soria in the team, here we go. BVB, the noisy black and amber army. Oof. We won nil down in this one. Oh dear. Don't let them shock us. Do not let them shock us, lads. We've got to go away from home as well. But we do it away from home. Numa and Gil have sent us through. We've avoided the banana peel, but we've met another German one in Bayern Munich. So let's get going into this one, please. Lopez, our 91 rated man, doesn't have an impact. We're behind again. We've just got to hope for a comeback again like we did before. And that is an emphatic one. Ica Bravo. Take a bow. So here we go. It's Real Madrid against Newport. Still got to beat what's in front of us and not look at the other leg as we do actually start off with a win for once. We've got to reverse it this time and hope they don't complete a comeback on us because we are away from home. But that last goal from Soria has made it feel not so sorry for Real Madrid. We're going to the final. Just realised my camera's been off ages, but oh well, we have City in the final. Both 1-3-2 and got a 1-1 draw in the second leg. Oh, and to rub it in with Tottenham, it's played at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. As oh, I don't think Tottenham's going to feel too bad. They picked us to the post for fourth. If we don't win this, we're a Europa League club again. It's important that we do, as we've definitely got goal scorers in this squad. But will they come to fruition? in the final. What a game this shall be. Look at the graphics, Ikea Bravo. Pretty excited to see how he does and see even if we can lift a Champions League trophy with Orange. Never really had that and not had a fully English final in quite a while, Manchester City. Oh no, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am of course completely wrong. England versus Wales this is. I believe we'd be the first Welsh club to win the Champions League. I may be wrong, but I don't think I am. As here's a move for Issa Kabor. Run on right here. Could we get an early lead? Sorry with the miss. That was a chance. Passing it back into Numar for a corner. Good little bit of play. Still will whip this ball in. And that looks decent. It's fallen over. We're kicking each other and we're not taking a chance. Really should have scored it there. It's a Kabor though. We're still going to try and charge forward. I think if we get a goal, we'd be very good for it. Lopez hits the crossbar. What a chance. And almost half time here in London. As maybe a chance just before the whistle. Mariah Welsh. We really should have buried that earlier chance. Can the captain do something? He switches and swerves and... Just hits the goalkeeper's gloves. Half time amongst us. Really should have done better. Hey, at least we've still got another chance. Maybe at the start of this half, Mariah Welsh, he's actually gone inside and he slipped it under the keeper. Straight after the half time whistle. 
our captain, man from the start, has scored the goal. The opening was there. It slipped underneath the keeper. We've been dominant and rewarded. Love that we've took the chance still. Don't like that Haaland's on the ball. He's playing a 1-2 and that is an amazing save. How are we holding on that much still, Mariah Well, She's got to try and beat Neves. We're going to pass it back to go forward. What a ball. One more over the top into Lopez off the bar again. It actually could be more crucial of a save than I thought at first sight. Oh, he's in the box. Is that a penalty or is it a free kick? Gonzalez was the man to foul. And oh, he's outside of the box. Haaland's taking it. No, Kevin De Bruyne. It's only a short one, though, and we still need to block the ball. Haaland, don't let him inside. Don't let him inside because he can crack a shot. He's passed it in. Another save. End to end. Still, this looks like it could potentially be the end. Corner for City onto Haaland's head. And in the 91st, I don't believe it. Erling Haaland sends the City fans mental. They've surely got their hopes up this time. So extra time, of course, is amongst us. Couldn't deal with the penalty shootout. We win this game and score early on like we did in the second half as this could be a chance, you know. Pass that inside. Why so badly? Still, we may have a chance with how quickly our passing is, and that has reached Lopez. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's just trying to dance too much. Get away from the defender who's following him all over the shop and tackling him. We're honestly so bad, but he's got the ball back again. This time, he's going for the overlap, and we need to drill that down low. That's a good ball into the box, and finally, EK Bravo is the man to take the chance. Newport back in front in this Champions League final one. That is how we want it to be. That is how we want to go into the second half. So 15 big minutes left. Keep going, lads. Keep going. We've just got to just play it smartly a little bit. Not like that, Numar. Smart as in trying to cut opportunities through the middle. That is Mariah Welsh. And that is a ball over the top, which we haven't got in the end of header away. But the clock is ticking. This half's gone really quickly. And that, ladies and gentlemen is that we actually did manage to hold on and we have won the champions league with newport lifting the champions league with oh you're joking it skipped it we are the first Welsh club to do it but we won't get to see it anyway we have done the challenge it's been a very long one i'm gonna let you guys finally get off if you have enjoyed this one recommend some down below p3fc 24 is coming